Welcome back, my subscribers, my friends. All right, Mad Brad's Customs here. Hit the like button, hit the like button. Come on, we need you. Subscribe, the subscribe button's easy to do too. We need you to hit them buttons for us. All right, as I told you when I got the clear on the car, I will show you. And amazing what a little teeny, tiny little chip of paint will make you have to do. But as you can see, that is the last coat of clear, and it is slick. All righty. Now we'll wait up, let it cure for the rest of the day, and then I'll get to maybe wet sanding and buffing, or maybe just buffing. We'll have to see. But it looks pretty darn slick to me. Oh, yeah. Looking good. All right, my trunk I took off to get it out of the way because I had a little area to touch up on it, and that is done too. But let me talk to about some products I use. And I have been using Meguiar stuff for as far back as I can remember. Now, if you get a car to where you've done a complete paint job and you want to keep it kind of like the factory look when the paint kind of looks like it has a little bit of I don't a little bit of roughness to it texture not much very small amount it's kind of where the factory leaves them but if you're doing something that's going to be like you want to take it to a show and people go man that's a nice car well you're going to have to do some wet sanding and buffing so when I paint a car I put a lot of paint a lot of my color on there but I put a lot of clear on them too because I know I'm going to wet sand it and I know I'm going to buff it to get it a slick, smooth, shiny surface. So some of the products I use, and I'm going to give a plug here to Home... Oh boy, what I was about Home Depot, but anyway, Harbor Freight. Sorry about that. There's a few things that I do use, and I use their Bauer, I guess Bauer. Pads, foam pads at 6 inch. And, of course, they come medium, coarse, different colors for different ones ultra fine is white and i have found what works best is to once i've wet sanded everything in other words block sanded all my clear to take this medium pad and go to like really really work in the paint but the thing you want to do there's all kinds of mcguire's product and i don't want to show you all of them but i'm going to show you the best and this is only if you really want to try to create a high-end paint job. If this is going to be a daily driver and you just want it nice and shiny, there's other McGuire products that'll do just that for you for a paint job. Or, you, like I said, you could have just left it at whatever level you sprayed your clear coat at. But the next step, take a medium foam pad. This is from Harbor Freight. And bingo. McGuire's detailing. Let me see if I can get that picture right for you. It's called Correction Compound. Um, the regular um, paint stores around here, they're kind of high on I think almost $38 for this uh, small bottle, one pint. But you could do this whole car with this half a bottle or less. It doesn't take a lot. It takes a very little bit. You rub it around on your pad you use a little bit of spray bottle. I use a little teeny bit of water. I use a lot of water, a little bit of Dawn. Drops of Dawn in it. But anyway, and then I go over the whole car with this and it will make it amazingly slick and shiny. These two just go together. And I don't care if you use Harbor Freight's pads or whatever pads you get off of wherever. They probably all are good. I know these hold up for a little while for nine dollars you probably go through two or three of them doing a car but the thing that makes it end up being a like show quality car is the finishing wax all right let me back up one more minute to harbor freight for those of you that are friends and are near me i want you to know harbor freight right now has a deal they had them once before and i bought a bunch of them but these microfiber cleaning towels they're 12 by 12, and there's 12 in a pack. I think they're $2.32 a pack right now. And no limit. You can go buy all of them if you want to. I have a cabinet up here that's probably got 10 packs in them. I got a 
six or seven packs I bought yesterday. But anyway, just a little plug for Harbor Freight again. They don't do nothing for me. They make me pay everything just like you do. But anyway, I wanted to go back and touch that. Now, when you go to do the finishing wax, you really need to buy these finishing disc pads from McGuire. They're in their detailer series. They're kind of expensive too. But when you go to put this finishing wax on there and you buff it with these pads, I'm telling you, it'll be so slick. When you look at it, your feet will slip out from under you. Crazy, crazy shiny, crazy slick from this stuff. All right, so I know I'm boring y'all to death, but please, Mad Brad's Customs here. Like and subscribe. And this Cobra is for sale. If you want to know about it, it's got less than 61,000 and less than 62,000 miles on it. And it's original miles. I picked up the car. It had been sitting for 12 years with a blown motor. That's why I rebuilt the motor in it, which might as well say it's a new motor because I put everything possible in it new and I put everything in it upgraded into a better product that you can buy the best that you could buy to put in here like i put a cobra steel crank and svt rods in it so anyway all right we are out thanks for watching please subscribe hit the like button for us mad brad mad brad's customs we are out